It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Wednesday, June 15th, 2022. Number one, white men believed to be members of a white supremacist group were arrested over the weekend near a gay pride event in northwest Idaho. Curdaline police report that 31 individuals linked to the white nationalist group known as the Patriot Front were planning to riot the event. The men, all wearing khaki pants and navy blue shirts, were equipped with riot gear, including shields, shin guards, a smoke grenade, and other riot gear. Police found the white men crammed into the truck blocks away from the LGBTQ event. Number two, a new poll shows Joe Biden's popularity among black voters, a key part of his base, has taken a beating since the spring of 2021. It found that seven in 10 black Americans approve of President Biden's job performance, down 8% from the 78% approval rating recorded in April of 2021. A question on the poll asked, if Biden is sympathetic to the problems of black people in this country, 66% of residents replied yes, down 8% from the 74% who said yes to the same question in June of 2020. Number three, President Joe Biden's top health official has again tested positive for COVID-19, less than a month after he came down with virus symptoms while on a trip to Germany. U.S. Health Secretary Xavier Becerra woke up with symptoms again Monday morning and tested positive afterward, according to his spokesperson. His symptoms are mild, and he's isolated in Sacramento, California. The aide said Becerra had been in California for a personal commitment. Number four, pride has existed for more than 50 years. Marsha P. Johnson is one of the significant heroes we have to thank for Pride Month. Marsha P. Johnson was a black trans rights activist who played a significant role in important moments for the LGBTQ plus movement, such as the Stonewall protest. Read more about her in the What You Need to Know newsletter. Number five, the family and friends of T.J. Baker are asking for the public's help in locating her. The 23-year-old has been missing from New York, New York since May 1st. T.J., a college student from New York City, traveled to Washington, D.C. on May 1st, and aside from a mysterious phone call for help, has not been heard from since. She was last seen wearing a black sweater, gray shorts, and a white top. Anyone with information about T.J.'s disappearance, please go to the Black and Missing website. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Allow the light within you to bless those around you. Woo. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with the man of the world, Stephen Hill, the comedian of the world, Myra J., and uh, the activist of the world, Quinn Townsend Riley, as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the American Heart Association. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.